up, riders? How you doing? It's Paul. Uh, ride home review for this week. And this week I watched Blade Runner 2049. And that starred Harrison Ford, Ryan Gosling, Jared Leto, Robin Wright. And uh, was uh, directed by Denis Villeneuve. And for those who don't recognize that name right away, if you've seen uh, The Arrival or Prisoners or Sicario, then you've seen his work. He's actually a really well, uh, really good director. I haven't seen Prisoners, but I've seen The Arrival and Sicario. I'm quite impressed. So what the movie is about, it's, uh, it follows a Blade Runner. Um, that's also a replicant, Ryan Gosling, who stumbles across a case in which there seems to be a replicant created from a replicant. In other words, a replicant gave birth. Um, so that's the so he's on a path to find uh, not uh, just that replicant, but also. Harrison Ford's character of Deckard. What did I like about this film? Well, first of all, the production, and the production design and art direction of this um, film was excellent. Uh, they really knew how to create a world, even better than the first one. It just, you just had the the notion that you were in some place different, and it was not the California that you recognize. It was really cool how they did that and how they really created a futuristic vision. Um, I liked how they continued the way the, the soundtrack, uh, the soundtrack was really haunting. Um, it harkens back to the original uh, as well. Um, and so the cinematography, of course, I thought was even better than the first even though the first one was done by a wonderful cinematographer. He set the tone, and the cinematography in this one carried that on. And it was just a good story, and well, well played, well paced, um, very methodical, very deliberate, and just really had a lot of the touches that they really, the director did a very good job in trying to replicate what was there before. And so that was really cool. It just felt like a complete continuation and they did a good job in doing that. What I didn't care for um, was I thought that there was some misses. I didn't really feel like they developed Jared Leto's character uh, enough in this story. Um, and similar to the first one, I thought that uh, um, it just, it just kind of, ended um there was a bit of a there was some closure and there was some reveal but it just felt like once again the the villains just weren't um weren't fleshed out enough i didn't think and and so i thought that was the weakest part of it but the film is really good it's really and it's a little long. It's a little long. I'll admit that it's a little bit long, but um, but it's just uh, um, yeah. And what to watch for? Uh, I think you should watch for the fact of how Ryan Gosling's character also has a relationship with a not so real female. So just check out that, that, that dynamic as well. In the meantime, um, it is a good movie. And if you like the original, I believe you'll like this one. Yeah, it's same pacing, same feel. So follow us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. Like to hear your comments. Like to hear your feedback of how you felt this movie went. So until next week. And next week I'll be watching... Marshall. So watch my review on that. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Have a good week.